Homeward Bound Daily Devotional by Ellen G. White Sabbath Preparations, June 22nd Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8 At the very beginning of the fourth commandment, the Lord said, Remember, he knew that amid the multitude of cares and perplexities, we would be tempted to excuse ourselves from meeting the full requirements of the law or would forget its sacred importance. Therefore, he said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. All throughout the week, we are to have the Sabbath in mind, to be making preparations to keep it according to the commandments. We are not merely <clears throat> to observe the Sabbath as legal matter. We are to under understand its spiritual bearing upon all the transactions of life. All who regard Sabbath as a sign between them and God, showing that he is God who sanctified them, will represent the principles of his government. They will bring into daily practice the laws of his kingdom. Daily it will be their prayer that the sanctification of the Sabbath may rest upon them. Every day they will have the, the companionship of Christ and will exemplify the, the perfection of his character. Every day their light will shine forth to others in good work. In all, the, in all that pertains to the success of God's work, the very first victories are to be won in the home life. Here, the preparation of the Sabbath must begin. Throughout the week, let parents remember that their home is to be a school in which their children shall be prepared for the course above. Let their words be right, no words which their children should not hear are to escape their lips. Let the spirit be kept free from irritation. Parents during the week live as in the sight of the Holy God who has given you children to train for him. Train for him the little church in your home that on the Sabbath all may be prepared to worship in the Lord's sanctuary. Each morning and evening present your children to God as his blood-bought heritage. Teach them that it is their highest duty and privilege to love and serve God. When the Sabbath is thus remembered, the temporal will not be allowed to encroach upon the spiritual. No duty pertaining to the six working days will be left for the Sabbath. During the week, our energies will not be so exhausted in temporal labor that on the day when the Lord rested and was refreshed, we shall be too weary to engage in his service. Homeward bound.